What's going on guys? So, this is gonna be a really cool video. You can probably surmise that I am still out here at Alliance and this is their corporate headquarters. They got all sorts of big buildings out here. They got building one, building two, building three, and is that building three and then building four is gonna go next to it. And you guys got buildings everywhere. We do. And they're huge. And this specific building is where the Alliance Paradigm is made, building two. And we're gonna quickly go through, I mean, when I say quickly, we're gonna like super quickly go through this factory and show you what goes into building an Alliance Paradigm. So, first of all, you got all the frames. Those are your frames. They're all drop frames. Those are the Alliance Paradigm frames. Those are wide body frames. New Rhino box, so these are all new Rhino frames as well. So these are the frames where they come in. You got all your axles, wheels, tires, everything stacked up here. We got more axles. We got Joe, who's my contact here. Hey, What's going on? How are you guys? All right, so the frame pulls in here. We got a lot of music playing in the background, so hopefully I don't get a copyright violation or copyright strike on this. But you got a lot of axles here. They take the frame, they flip the frame over, and when they flip the frame over, it makes it a lot easier for them to mount their axles. So these axles will then mount right here. You get to see the, uh, the reinforced shackle hangers that they have here as well, all the way around. That is super cool. You can see how they frame in their holding tanks. So no more holding tanks on the side of the road. Very cool, this is a 12 inch I-beam connected back here. You can see the box section that they put above it. Through frame slides, check this out, rack and pinion slides. You can see how it goes through the frame. You can see how it's designed to work. That's why I love these slides. They're the strongest slide system you can get and most reliable in my opinion. Would you agree? I would absolutely agree. There we go, and this guy's, he's worked for a lot of manufacturers so he would know that as well. So now you got the beginning of the manufacturing line. It goes all the way down this way, and these are all in various stages of manufacturing. Right. Sometimes there might be like two in the same station and they're doing electrical and they're running plumbing, right? Yep. So that's why you're seeing all the cords kind of all over the place. They're putting tanks in different spots. Yeah. Um, and then they're they're adding things like your leveling system and your electrical components. Uh, and then this is the beginning of what they call the line, right? So it's a line that's going straight down and you have groups of people and there's group leaders that manage the plumbing the saw the cabinets the every every part of the station it just it works yeah. perfectly Let, let's hang out in the back area of these so we can get away from some of the music yep you can see the engineered frame structure right here okay so here's the cabinet shop this is where everything's getting put together a lot of cabinetry going on over here that is super cool i love the fact that you guys do all this in-house all right, we're gonna head upstairs now. Okay, so uh, yeah, they were very kind to turn down the radio so we could record this, which is super cool. It's gonna make this process a little bit easier. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you everyone at Plant 2, we appreciate it. Absolutely, so we started on this end. You can see where the frames came in, flipped over, axles, wheels, suspension, all that stuff goes on over here. You can see where they're getting in line, tanks, everything else, electrical, everything under the floor. The subfloor stuff is put in here. And you can see this gradual evolution of stuff added as it goes further down and a lot of the furniture a lot of the cabinetry actually gets installed before the sidewalls go on because it just makes it easier logistically it makes it a lot easier to put everything in you can definitely see what's going on here okay guide yep. me along the way what are we doing so here's the uh kind of middle of the plant so you can actually see the sidewalls over there that came from the lamination plant which uh jd did a video on earlier and then they get put on right here using the blue harness system and the unit then they do what's called a line roll and they roll the units and they go into a new stage and we slowly start adding graphics at this stage right here and then here's where our roofs are assembled and we actually build our roofs on the ground and we use a foam material instead of nails through study it actually has more um, expansion and contraction properties okay so it allows Very good yep so they're gonna so this it. unit's moving down yep they're gonna push this unit in place and then they're gonna roll the roof assembly on top of it so we get to see this should we go down to this level here so we can see a little bit better yep, view of it stay. yep go, just be quick okay this is really cool huh very very automated process you got going on here this is it's different because since you built this factory around specifically how 
you want to build paradigms, everything is set up differently than some other factories I've walked through. Exactly. So one thing to note that is, it was very surprising to me was the fact that these are about 12 foot higher ceilings than your standard factory. So we have a significant amount of more headroom. We also don't just have like USB decking here. This is real it's cement. It's concrete, yeah. It's concrete, yeah. And we also added as many possible lights, windows as possible, and skylights. So that way that it lets a tremendous amount of natural light. It's very, very bright in here. Yes. Very bright. Yeah, yeah you don't really, really have shadows. Important. So that may have been the last line roll. So we they're probably might not be bringing this one over. No, we will. Oh, you will bring it over? Okay, okay cool. So here it goes. So they're rolling this line yep. over here. Now that is a broom. <laughs> and they're using that to clear off all the debris so it doesn't jam up the wheels or the rollers yep. whenever they start rolling this over. Very cool. Yeah, and one thing that's, that's really important to note about the RV industry is there's nothing automated here. We are 100% built by yeah. human American hands. Yep. Oh. And also pushed by human American hands. So now that is going to be set in place. And then this roof structure right here will be brought over. This will drop first. The mezzanine will come down. All right, so it is now hugging up against the platform there. And what's crazy is all this stuff is specific. This is custom built for your specific assembly line. Correct. This isn't something that you see Correct. replicated across all of them. Yep, so this was built for the Paradigm. Yep, here we go. Yep. Now, something that's different about this process right here from other OEMs and manufacturers is we pre-assembled the roof and then gave them the tool to automatically bring it over to reduce the stress on the body. Whereas at other plants, they actually have to build the roof panel by panel, bringing mm -hmm. it out onto the decking itself. Yeah, I've seen that. So we have significantly reduced the energy that they need to build this yep. to be able to do it more effectively with better quality. And like you said, and like I've said time and time again, this is all hand labor. This is folks using power tools, man, hand tools, and just getting it the way it needs to be done by hand. And, you know, there's a certain amount of fit and finish differences you're going to see between this and the automotive industry. But people in the automotive industry aren't building cars by hand. Nope. You know? Nope. Yep. So... I'm guessing at this point they're getting everything set up so this will kind of squeeze down on top and fit the way it needs to. Yep, it fits perfectly and then we saw that line roll earlier and then you're going to have the roofing electrical start taking place here and they're still in the pretty early stages. And these are all part of the color coding wiring that you guys talk about yep. how everything's color coded. Yep. So if you need to service it you have easy understandability of where a wire is going to terminate. Exactly. Yep. Every color means something. I like how everything's being bundled up too. Yep. On a lot of them, you just see where it's just ran, yep. and it's just it's maybe burrowed through something, but this is all bundled up and taped up real well. Yep. Take that extra, you know, five seconds to bundle. Yep. That quality. Yep. And what we see over here is you see some ducting because they try to direct dump all their air in when they can, but sometimes you have bathrooms and other rooms that need to have air brought into it, and that's why you see some ducting that they install. So okay, looks like we got some uh, insulation going on over here. Yep. Residential batted style insulation. Yep. Yep. So wiring, then it comes to here. I'm guessing they're working inside of the unit here. Correct. Yep. So they're running some of the piping, they're running some of the lights and everything yep. that's going in because you can see there the can lights aren't in, but here the can lights have been added. Got it. And this is while it's exposed so they can get to everything quickly. Correct. Yep. And, and then, then it moves here. Adding the insulation right here. Uh, and then doing a couple other things. And the PVC over there. Let's walk over to the PVC. 
Okay, so this is a really cool station because it's so different than what you typically see in the industry. Typically, your OSB would have to be carried out by hand and they start laying it across the top, nailing it down. But they got this machine right here that's on this gantry and basically it rolls it out, it puts the thermofoil down, the aluminum, kind of that radiant barrier down first on top of the insulation and then they come back with this OSB and then they drop the OSB on with this tool right here which allows them just to put it in place, slide a board off, and again, it takes a lot of the physical work away. Yep. So workers by the end of the day aren't so spent. They're able right. to, to make it through an entire day and have the same quality control on every single unit, which is super cool. Exactly. Yep, and you got your PVC going on over here. Yep, so the PVC was laid on this unit. PVC roof. This is before they cut all the holes and they lay down the track and everything. And then the next station, once they get this one prepped, is where they start adding like the air conditioners and all that good stuff. There they are. Solar panels, the caps, and then they'll start sealing everything. Man, I didn't realize that Coleman changed to that newer AC cover. That's a pretty looking AC cover. Yeah, yeah, it's sleek. Yeah, and over here, slide walls or slide rooms have still not gone in yet. Right. So the slide out room department is actually like two stations that way and underneath us. Do we have to go back up here? Uh, we can go up here and there's a back way to get down. Okay. We got valances. Yep, and they're all hand built. Yep. And they all have their MCD shades already in them. Yep. Very cool. And this place is a maze, but it it's is. actually a very coordinated maze. It is, yeah. Once you understand how to work your way through it, it, it makes a lot of sense. Atrium windows. Yep. Those are huge windows. And so, so something special about the slide out um, so this uh, exterior wall right here was actually part of the original laminated yeah. wall. So there's zero waste there. Yep. And you get your full ASDO wall as well. So Very then cool. the slide outs are kind of prepped and ready. And they're, you know, if there's kitchens or there's anything, they'll start building them into the unit itself. And then they get it all ready to go. And then right here is the slide out department. And they use a nice, a really cool machine that actually helps lift them in to the unit when they get to this station right here. So then things are moving along really well into the unit. They're putting in all the cabinets and all the wiring and everything's working really good. We actually got Kevin and he is the plant manager with Georgie. What's going on gentlemen? Oh, you want to turn? Quick, you love your job? Uh, of course, love my love this job in this place. I love this. How's it going man? All right, so yeah, we got a pretty cool rapid fire kind of a shotgun tour of the place and, and the start all the way down to this point. What makes Alliance different? Uh, the family aspect to it. Uh, as our goal, core values, relentless improvements are driven based to the quality for the customers, their camping experience, all that that we put first. That's good. And you can tell from even an employee perspective, you guys have a lot of tools in place that I haven't seen in other factories mm -hmm. that take some of the, the physical labor off of employees. So like we were talking about, so they can make it through a whole day with the same level of quality on every yeah. unit, as opposed to being completely worn out at the end of the day, because they've been lifting heavy OSB mm -hmm. panels or they've been doing other things. And that's really cool and innovative. Yeah. Another thing we do, we start at 6 PM. Normally, uh, most RV companies are 3.30, 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they get in there. Our aspect is, Come in at six, you can still go to those evening games around here, it's like light out till 9.30 at yeah. night. So now you can experience that time with your kids, have all that time, and still be able to get enough sleep in the morning, come into work, make That's a good paycheck. Cool. Well, gentlemen, I appreciate yes, it. Sir. Keep up the good work. Let's continue on. All right, so another cool thing is you're gonna see different color little lines of tape. There's green, there's red, there's orange, there's blue, and they're all different QCs, quality control yep. uh, managers that run through the line. And there's several of them stationed throughout each department. And so you're gonna see green because whoever has the green tape uh, noticed something that I may not even catch. Mm -hmm. It might be hard to see. Uh, so there's some green tape, it's probably this little scuff right here. So or it could even be like, like that even, or, or yep, just something. So that's... someone could come in yeah. and fix it, and they'll, we have really good body work, and then whatever this is, like, I don't even know what they're calling attention to here. Yeah, I know. But they saw something that I they can't. They saw something, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's the level of detail we put into the quality. Um, and, you know, we're not pumping out 20 a day. We are taking our time and doing it right, because as we have in every single plant, we have our mission statement. Um, with our with eight goals, you know, relentless improvement that Ryan and Coley talked about in another video, devoted to relationships. You know, Kevin just said 
so that everyone could get out on time to the ball game because of kids events. Yeah. Um, and I've talked to a ton of our team members. We call them the A team. And they, if they have a family emergency or they have something, everyone steps up to, to help them because they know that they could be in that situation. Tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and then customer obsessed. We are truly customer obsessed to give the best RVing experience. That's awesome. And then obviously do the right thing. Is it the right thing to do? We're going to do it. Yep. Well, you know, this is kind of in an odd order. I don't know if this is going to go before we show the PDI video and the, and the towing test video, but or the road test, but you definitely want to check those videos out. I don't know if I post them yet or if, uh, or if they will be soon posted, but you get to see once it leaves here, it gets towed. It gets towed for like 30 minutes over some pretty, pretty rough roads. Mm -hmm. And then it goes around like a slalom course pretty much. And then they bring it back here and send it to PDI and start seeing what, what improvements, what needs to be fixed, what needs to happen before it goes to its holding yard and picked up and taken to a dealership. Yep. So there's a lot that you guys are doing right out here and that's kind of the thing. You build factories to meet the specific need and to meet those goals that you have, which is different. Some companies find a factory and they make the factory work for them. Yep. You guys make the, your, your factory built to work for you, mm -hmm. which is super cool. So very awesome. Um, man, it's been so fun being out here. I know we went through this one super quick, but Hopefully everyone got a lot out of it, and they do these tours. If you're uh, yeah, if you're shopping yeah. for a paradigm, these yeah. are something that you can come and you can get a personalized tour. Please go to our website allianceRV.com, and there's actually a form you can fill out to schedule an RV tour. Yep, uh, they're not hiding anything. They show no. all of it, which we is have, super cool. We have an open open camera policy, so come in, film. Um, we're we're happy to show you guys around. That's awesome. Well, brother, I truly appreciate it, man. Thank you. Guys, uh, there may be more videos out here, more videos on the whole process of building an RV, and you guys are definitely going to want to check that out. So if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.